Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. Today's video is going to be pretty much wrapping up some loose ends so I can prepare to get this beast on the road and also kind of prepare for the trek north even though we're going to do a little detour to Kansas and then uh, head home to Alaska. So let's jump right in. Since the freezer is now defrosted it's time to fill it up and it's very nice that we're able to uh, go hunting and fishing in Alaska and even better that my dad is able to store all kinds of our uh, fishing game, but it does come with uh, benefits having a freezer full of amazing food. Caribou Italian sausage. Caribou jalapeno cheddar Polish sausage. Caribou bacon, but I would not quite call it bacon myself. I'd call it caribou ham. Ground caribou burger. Caribou backstrap. Pacific halibut. A big old pack of razor clams. Copper River Red Salmon. Well this is the first load and I'm just going to see how much I can fit in the freezer before I bring too much more out. Sacrifices have to be made and sadly ice cream doesn't make the cut. For now at least. This is a leg of lamb from uh, Beck's uncle in Yuma. I think we'll have to cook that up here in San Diego. Butter, you're going in the fridge. Hot dogs for catfish bait? Sorry, not making the cut. Frozen anchovies for catfish bait, not making the cut. Bags of ice, not gonna make the cut for now. We'll probably have to use the uh, ice chest and buy ice more often. We bought this when we were running low on our uh, caribou, but I think I'll try to make room for it. Phyllo dough, not sure about this one. The trick is to do everything in layers. Every cubic inch of space needs to be utilized. I'm doing a good job. There's still quite a bit of room left. Well, it looks like it's a good day to be a leg of ham, and there's also room for my ice cream and even a bag of ice. But this is the last of the uh, meat that we had shipped to my dad's house. So we're all set for the uh, home stretch so we can get back to Alaska and do it all over again. I knew there'd be space for you guys. Now, yesterday I was up on the roof and I uh, did that air conditioning video. But while I was up there, I also took care of a little bit of maintenance. Now it's time to take a look at this bathroom fan, but I think getting to it is gonna be a lot easier from above than inside the bathroom. It's simply gonna be a matter of uh, taking off four nuts. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be able to pull the motor off, but it was not a uh, wasted effort because I found a ton of uh, leaves and uh, spruce needles built up here. And I was also able to uh, vacuum out this. And this dirty cover has been driving me crazy. So I'll be able to take care of that right now. I am gonna try and uh, spray a little WD-40 in here and just see what happens. I'm gonna try to avoid the electrical portion, but you never know, I might get lucky. This one's the roof vent for the uh, bedroom. I might as well clean this off while I'm up here. Might as well do the roof vent for the uh, living room and kitchen area. In case you didn't know, we have a giant uh, Sitka spruce tree in our driveway, and I can see years of uh, spruce needles here. It is absolutely ridiculous how much dirt is on the top of these things. I wasn't planning on uh, doing the cleaning, but kind of when you're up here, you really should just do it. I also like to think we're uh, pretty clean people, but damn if that didn't prove us otherwise. I uh, wanted to show you something else while we are up here with you. Last summer in Alaska, we were at one of our uh, favorite campgrounds called South Raleigh in the Nancy Lake area, and we encountered the worst possible mosquito and bug moment in the history of our lives and that is saying a lot you know because we're from Alaska and you know we're not strangers to mosquitoes no CMs and white socks but they were literally so intense we could not keep up with the flow of them coming into the motorhome and we never like totally isolated uh, where they were coming in from so we made it one night and it was horrible there were like mosquitoes coming into the motorhome everywhere and we ended up uh, on the second night just getting fed up with it and going to the Walmart in Wasilla at like 10, 11 o'clock at night just saying, screw it, can't handle it anymore, pushed out. Uh, which really says a lot. 
So one of the places I was thinking that the uh, mosquitoes were coming in was right here, the uh, refrigerator vent. Now I'm not gonna pop this off for you, but right under here is this kind of rectangular open piece and it literally was open and it goes in and down and opens up to that void behind the uh, refrigerator behind the cabinetry and there were definitely mosquitoes coming out from like these vents and it was just horrible so the next day i uh, bought some screen material and i ended up adhering some screen material around that uh rectangular hole you know we have not encountered a uh, bug situation that bad since so i haven't like uh proved the uh, concept, but I'm sure thinking it helped. Check it out guys, I think I fixed the fan from uh, up there. I'm calling that fixed. We still have a ridiculous number of miles to drive and this squeak is driving me crazy. It chirps like, like three times a second. How many hundreds of thousands of squeaks have I listened to? Fortunately, I can hear it. Now this compartment is a mess. I've already taken a few things out and kind of have them sitting right there. But this totally needs to be reorganized. This cabinet's a little messy as well. Well, the first step is to clear all this junk out so I can accurately assess uh, where this squeak is coming from. It's getting warm in here, but I'm making progress. There was this uh, kind of piece here inside the cabinetry and it was held in by about nine of these uh, little staples. So now I can get a lot better look at what is uh, making noise back here, but it's definitely still making noise. But this motorhome has a lot of these uh, square bit heads. If you don't have one of these or if you're just buying a motorhome, highly recommend buying some of these uh, square bits. So we know smartphones are great tools, but I'm gonna utilize the uh, selfie screen to uh, kinda see what's going on back here. So there's no denying that Nelly's an old motor home and you know, come on now, 79,000 miles, a lot of shaking and rattling, but there's some screws that I wish I could tighten, but just the damn angle, uh, I just can't get to them. So I think this like, was kind of all one piece and assembled before it was like put in. So that's probably why I can't access them. But I have some of these uh, deck screws. I'm gonna try running in from the other side to uh, try to kind of snug this piece up. And I can feel it, you know, you tap on it and use your other hand, you kind of feel the vibration. So I have it narrowed down. I'm just gonna probably try this and hopefully it works. Still there. Good news, it is completely gone. I'm sweating up a storm in here. Hello from Alaska. I wanted to be sure and say hi to you guys today. I hear it's pretty toasty down where Benny is in San Diego, but it's nice and cool up here. It's been overcast and cloudy all day. A perfect Alaskan spring day. I'm sitting outside of Los Arcos Mexican restaurant. I was gonna stand outside and show it to you guys, but it is so loud, I don't think you would have been able to hear me. But uh, this is my favorite Mexican restaurant in Anchorage. They have really good street tacos, so if you come up here, be sure to stop in. Anyway, I'm gonna have dinner with our good buddy Swelly tonight, and I'm looking forward to catching up with him. And I uh, wanted to just say hi to y'all real quick. Y'all, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> but uh, here's what the weather looks like today. Cloudy and overcast. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me as I uh, wrapped up a few loose ends. The rest of the stuff is pretty much just cleaning up a mess. So I don't need to share that with you. But I am going to spend a uh, couple more days here in San Diego and uh, try to get out and have a little fun and make some neat videos for you before I uh, start working my way towards the 395. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can uh, keep up with you know life on the road and fixing all these squeaks and rattles and stuff. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you later.